welcome. This is Melissa Arm with a stock swish and reviewing low. <laughs> this was absolutely crazy today. And let me tell you why. Because we did it. We were aggressive. We were up. Then it dropped. Then we were up. And then it fell, fell, fell. In fact, let's take a look at the market. Yeah, I mean, the market didn't help this at the time that this occurred. <coughs> But, I mean, this was struggling before that. <coughs> but, I mean, it really didn't have, when, when you look at what the market did, this, this held up pretty good. Actually, this is giving me more conviction here right now at this moment. So, here's what this has to do. Gap up tomorrow and run well over 118 and go. And I'm not saying that that's 100% going to happen, but I'm saying that that absolutely could happen. Uh, this didn't close over 118. It kind of ran out of day. But when you look at the market drop off at that point in time, and then you look at low, you say, well, and I did like this gap. I really like this gap. And again, <clears throat> the day trade in this, some people in the room, I'll tell you where I called it, got in and got out and made money. Some people got in and got out and made money again. And then some people held it. And I really honestly thought that this had the mojo to get up over 121 and possibly 122. But it's it it just it just couldn't do it today. So I called the entry in here in the day trading room, went boom, and then it came down and went boom, and then it just never was able to get back around again. So it is what it is. But the reality is that this here right now has to do if you're in the option, it has to get going tomorrow, gap up and run over 118 and up into 119. And that could happen. I think it's gonna show itself and show its hand in the morning in the pre-market. And I don't think it will be bad if the market gapped up either. Now, I don't know if that happens or not. I want, this market is very wild right now. <clears throat> Tomorrow's Thursday. So the, the Lowe's has two more days left to show itself today, to, uh, this week. But I really would feel a lot better about this to get over the hump tomorrow morning in the pre-market. So we'll see. But I had, had high helps for this. A lot of people did make money in this in the morning in the day trade. Some people even got out of the option in the morning. But <clears throat> I, I thought this would continue. For right now, at the moment, it did not. We'll see what tomorrow brings. So watch this lows. We'll see where it goes. Bullish gap up today was earnings. And uh, good luck, everyone. If you're interested in learning more information on how I rate gaps each day, email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com, the last class for the year. It's coming up December 14th and 15th. If you want to learn my method to trade in December and January for 2020. Have a great day, everyone.